All right, sports fans, how's everybody out there doing? William Martin coming at you one more time here on YouTube with another edition of the 300 Pounds of Sports Knowledge Podcast. Now, the start of the 2024 MLB season is just right around the corner. I know it unofficially uh, got started last week with the Dodgers and Padres over in the Far East, but nonetheless, here stateside, uh, you know, this thing is about to get going. And with that said, I've talked about the NL West. I've talked about the NL East, the American League West, the American League East. Rounding it out, almost there. And just before we get to the finish line, I want to talk about the National League Central. Don't worry, AL Central will be on tap for tomorrow. So who has what it takes to win this division? The Milwaukee Brewers are looking to make it uh, three out of the last four division titles. They won 92 games uh, last year as they won this division going, but not really going away, but they did win it with a comfortable margin as they won by nine games over the Cubs. Now for the Brew Crew, they're going to look totally different this year. Why? Because for the first time since 2014, Craig Council will not be Brewers manager as he is now the skipper of the Chicago Cubs. And of course, that's only going to add some fuel to that rivalry from these Midwest teams. Now, Pat Murphy will replace Council with the Brewers. He's been with this organization for quite some time. He knows their system, and I think it should be a solid transition there. Uh, we saw the Brewers this offseason trade former National League Cy Young Award winner Corbin Burns to the Baltimore Orioles. We know that Brandon Woodruff is going to be out as he recovers from an injury this season. You still got starting pitcher uh, Freddie Peralta as well as veteran Wade Miley, and you have a solid bullpen, which includes relief pitcher Devin Williams. Now, Milwaukee was tops in the National League last year in team ERA, and it's going to be interesting to see whether or not that will be that will continue to be a strength for this Brewers club. You have a decent lineup with the likes of Willie Adamas, Christian Yelich, and, of course, William Contreras. But then the addition of Reese Hoskins, the former Philadelphia Phillies first baseman, uh, should help Milwaukee's chances as they're looking to once again win the Central. Now, the team that finished second to Milwaukee in the National League Central last year, the Chicago Cubs. And after a pair of down years, the Cubbies found themselves in contention last year for a playoff spot before falling just short. But after that surge last year by the Cubs, the expectations are going to be higher for them this year. I just talked about Craig Council coming over from Milwaukee to Chicago. Uh, the expectations, like I said, will they be able to live up to them? As Justin Steele turned the corner, we saw him win 16 games last year for Chicago. Can he be consistent with that? You got Jamison Tayon, the former Yankee pitcher as well. Bringing back Cody Bellinger, I think was big. Uh, after, you know, things fizzled out for Bellinger with the Dodgers, signed that one-year deal last year with the Cubs, and it looks like he revitalized himself. And I think he's found a new home in Chicago. You got Dansby Swanson, the former Atlanta Brave. Will this be enough for the Cubs to overtake uh, Milwaukee in the Central? We got to wait and see. Uh, you got the St. Louis Cardinals, who after 15 consecutive winning seasons found themselves in a very weird spot last year as they finished with a losing record. They were never able to get on track as instability took over one of baseball's most consistent winners. And instability in the Cardinals simply do not go hand in hand. But hope always springs eternal. And it's going to be interesting to see if we can expect a bounce back this season from the Redbirds. Now, starting pitching, when you think about the Cardinals, has usually been a strength. Was not that case last year as it was a weakness. They had one of the worst staffs in the National League. You got to look no further. The Cardinals were reeling following the retirement of longtime catcher Yadier Molina. He was that good, okay? Um, you bring in Wilson Contreras, and of course, it didn't work out. Why? Because Wilson Contreras is not Yadier Molina. Let's see how he transitions to year number two with St. Louis. You sign veteran pitcher Sonny Gray. He's going to begin the year on the injured list. You brought in another veteran in Lance Lynn who knows the Cardinal waste. So let's see how that works for him. Miles Mikolas and Steven Matz had two bad seasons last year, especially Steven Matz. 
what is St. Louis going to be able to get out of them? Uh, you still got two quality veteran hitters in the middle of that lineup, two professional hitters in Nolan Arenado and Paul Goldschmidt. St. Louis is bringing back Matt Carpenter as well as bringing in former San Francisco giant infielder Brandon Crawford. So it's going to be interesting to see if the Cardinals are going to be able to piece this thing together to make a run in the Central this year. Now, for the Cincinnati Reds, we saw them emerge as a surprising playoff contender over the first half of the season last year before they fizzled out. And after flirting with being a playoff team a year ago, will these young Reds be able to do even more here in 2024? Cincinnati, they, they got to get more out of their pitching because they were 13th in the NL last year in team ERA and just 14th in quality starts. Ellie De La Cruz, we saw him, you know, just, you know, just come out like gangbusters to begin his MLB career before he tapered off. Uh, you've got Jonathan India. you got shortstop Matt McClain. What are they going to be able to do uh, for David Bell's team as they look to make some noise in the Central? And finally, there's the Pittsburgh Pirates. So the Pirates, of course, right now are in the midst of a rebuild. But with that rebuild, are they any closer to ending that postseason drought, which dates back to 2015? This is going to be the fifth year for Derek Shelton as the manager of the Pirates. There's some talent there with the likes of outfielder Brian Reynolds and starting pitcher Mitch Keller and closer David Bednar. But it's just a matter of is it going to be enough, okay, <clears throat> for the Pirates to be a contender? I do expect this race to be very tight this year. Uh, the Cubs are going to be better. The Brewers... I think they're going to continue to be battle tested. I don't think they're going to be as good as they were last year, but I still think they are going to be highly competitive. St. Louis, I think, will improve. Will it be enough for them to be a postseason team? I'm not sure. I do believe that this is a tight race throughout the bulk of the season. I think it comes down to the Cubs and the Brewers. I think one thing to keep an eye on is which team makes more moves possibly uh, at the trade deadline to improve their uh, chances. It would not surprise me to see the division race in the Central go down to the final week of the season. But when it's all said and done, I think Milwaukee ekes past Chicago to win the Central for the third time in the last four years. So, folks, that is going to wrap it up. And as always, I want to take this time out to thank all of you for tuning into the 300 Pounds of Sports Knowledge podcast here on YouTube. I want to take this time out to thank all of you fine folks out there for tuning in. And if you have not already, please feel free to subscribe to this channel. Now, if you are on the X, formerly known as Twitter, please feel free to follow me at 300 pounds of sports. And like I always say, if you follow me, it will be my pleasure to follow you right back. There's also the sports discussion group on Facebook at the Sports Depot 365 that you can check it out. Drop a line and be a part of one of the better sports debating sites going on social media. So once again, fine folks, my name is William Martin and I am signing off and I'm saying take care and have yourselves a wonderful day.